one day you going performing with Cardi, you going in the studio with Uzi, and then the other day you got a song with X. But you was all growing up listening to all them artists, you feel me? It was just crazy. It was just like overwhelming. Yo, what's going on, guys? We're in LA right now and uh, chilling with the young legend right here, yeah, Mad Ox. We I'm made bro. it, man. Yeah, we made yeah. it. Man, it's, uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been cool because, so I DM'd you a long time ago because I wanted to get an interview with you. And I guess you recently heard about us through, uh, it was the Candy Pay interview? Yeah, probably. Where? Either that, yeah. I'm pretty sure, actually. Because I was just working with Nirvana and stuff. So, like, and then Candy Pay been the homie, you feel me? So I was just tapping in and seeing what he'd been on. You watch a lot of like interviews and stuff on YouTube, or like what kind yeah, of stuff? I you mean, watch? bro, I make you the whole bean. Bro, the reason I was like, all right, before I got a song with X, I was an X fan. You feel me? Like, like I was one, of, like that was one of my number one artists because he was just fire. But I actually got introduced to him. Not like I ain't like it. His one song, "Look at Me," yeah. it was art. It was dope, but I ain't really get attached to it. You feel me? It yeah. was more the interview. The one with Adam. The, the Adam, yeah, and and the way he just carried himself, it was just like. A whole nother breed, you yeah. feel me? So I feel like interviews is important yeah. to like just show who you really is, you feel me? I kind of base what I think about an artist off like how they treat the interviewer, kind of, you know what I'm saying? There was this one time, right, where you did this interview with Montreality, and I was like, yo, because you're like telling this dude in the back, you're like, yo, shut up, bro. Oh, shut that up. was Hesh. That's my boy, though. Oh, okay, that's true. Yeah. So I thought that was like a random person. I was like, yo, why is he being so mean to him, you know? But um, <laughs> nah, no, I started no, watching no. your recent stuff. I'm like, yeah, you're just, you just got like treats people with respect. Like, he's a really, like, right, you're a good right. guy, you know? Yeah, no, that was a rolling loud. I was just playing with my boy. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's funny. Like I said, I um, first time I heard about you, which I guess is kind of how everyone heard about you, was the overwhelming video, right? And uh, man, that was like a time for hip hop, like 2017. I think X came out like early that year or like yeah. that year. Um, there, was, there was you, X, Ski Mask, um, Cardi was just kind of, you know, bubbling up. Um, and I feel like that's when the young artist really took over, like yeah. that year. Like, what, what was that, those years kind of like, you know, when you first got some buzz and you were a part of like that whole wave coming up? Yeah, I feel like, uh, see, I was just legit. Like, I was just, that's all I would see, you feel me, on SoundCloud, through anything online. And it was just crazy because you see everything online and then you start seeing it in person, you feel me? Like, one day you going performing with Cardi, you going in the studio with Uzi, and then the other day you got a song with X. Yeah. But you was all growing up listening to all them artists, you feel me? It was just crazy. It was just like overwhelming. Like like the song real. name, you feel me? It was manifested. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like it you learn a lot in these predicaments. It's like Rick Ross made the song Idols, Idols Turn into Rivals, you feel me? Yeah. It's really like that, you feel me? Cause everybody human, we all bleed the same blood, you feel me? And and, and I think it's just egos that get in each other's way. Yeah. For real, for real. Yeah, so I mean, you saw these artists when they were like in their come up stages, and now like Cardi is huge, you know. Right. You're saying like, you know, your relationship kind of changed with those people ever since. I mean, we, we still talk. You feel me? Like, I was just DMing. We was just DMing each other the other day, me and Cardi. But pretty much you don't know who these people are, you feel me? The only person that I feel like stayed true to his roots that I saw and met was X. You feel me? But mm -hmm. what you get online is just in your mind. Like, you making that up. Yeah, I, I kind of realized that too when I started doing these interviews. It's like when when I met people, you know, it's like, damn, I really like look up to you, and like, right. then they don't maybe they don't treat you good or like, you know, it's kind of weird, you know. But I, I feel what you're saying. Um, but like looking back at the you know at the song overwhelming, like, do you still like fuck with that song and like the music you were making at that time? I'm guess no. Or like, no, I mean you know. this song is so old. It's like, it's just like, all right, imagine hearing your voice fifty times a day. And it just that sh it just repeated, repeated it's like a loop. And then you like, all right, well now you want to make uh, experimental music from that. I make so much music, bro. It's like I can't listen to the same song over ten times. Like it gets yeah. annoying or like cringe yeah. in a sense. Or something? Yeah. yeah. Well, all right, certain songs I can listen over like a lot, yeah. but yeah, it do be certain songs where it get annoying. Or I cringe at my own yeah. self. You feel me? Yeah. But I feel like as an artist, you need to be able to do that because that's how you open it up yourself to express yourself in more ways you feel me like yeah. you can't be afraid of what nobody else is thinking even what you yourself is thinking because yeah. because 
it's certain messages that just need to get out there. Right. Seeds that need to be planted, even if. Yeah. Man. So has there been a time where you put out a song, but you're like, fuck, I didn't really want to put this out, but it just has to go out to the world. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like, though, that always happened with, like, labels. Yeah. So, like, when you do it on your own, it's, it's different. Like, I, the songs I be dropping on my own, they be like, all right, I can re-listen re to this. You feel me? And I can just keep bumping it because I chose it. You feel me? It's not like five different people like, yeah, I think this is a hit. Yeah. And then you got to listen to it 50 times before you even drop it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It must be annoying. No, I feel you. Well, like, I was watching, because um, when, I'm, when I'm up late at night, I just watch, like, documentaries and shit. Right. So I was watching this, like, Justin Bieber documentary for his last album, hmm. which was, I think it was called Changes. And uh, he was talking about how difficult it was to just, you know, be famous while he was so young, right? And I'm curious, like, do you feel like you blowing up too young kind of took away from having like a normal childhood, just like friends, you know, the way people treat you and shit? Yeah, I mean, you always see that because it's like, everybody now is about clout, and especially in LA, you feel me? But everybody just clout chasing, everybody want to be like the next person, you feel me? And, and it's hard to find trust in those situations, you feel me? Everybody, everybody wants you for what's behind you, not what's in you, you feel me? You, they only see the outside. They only see the cars, they only see the money, they only see this, that, that, and they think that's all it is. And they don't know how to deal with um, the reality of the situation. Yeah, so have you have you lost like some friendships over, you know, maybe people not wanting to chill with you for the right reasons or, you know? Yeah, I feel like it always go around though. Like it's like you see people come and go and then the real ones are gonna stay. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of people that just be flimsy. In a sense, you feel me? Just spiritually flimsy. Like, you know, you know, I was talking about the Montreality interview, like around, I think that was like 2017. Right. To like now, like, how do you really feel like you change from there? Like, I'm sure like a lot has happened, obviously, but just yeah. like the type of person you are, do you feel like you change and like what made you want to change? I feel like, bro, you just learn stuff and you grow, you feel me? Like everybody else, you feel me? But on top of that, it's like I, I go through, not saying I go through a lot, but like it's in more of a fast pace. It's like, I'm doing this, and I'm doing that, and I gotta go do this, and then on top of that, I gotta go to school, and then I'm doing this. You're so, still in school? Yeah. What the hell? It's oh. online school. I'm 16, bro. Like I thought you'd drop out from now. Like I mean, it's point. online school. Yeah. So it's like, I can't drop out until I finish my drum. Uh -huh. I mean, I might be able to, but I don't, I don't like think Like at I'm this point, do. you're kind of too far into it. You might have Yeah, I might as well just get my my GID, you feel me? Yeah. Wait, what is it called? GED? GED. I'm not from Canada. I don't even know what that means, but. All right, but yeah, that, yeah. you know. And then, yeah, I feel like I want to actually learn in other aspects, though. Like, like, I'm into philosophy and all that type of stuff, you feel me? But mm -hmm. yeah, I don't feel like school teach that enough. Yeah. I feel like... Um, or, I, it's yeah. not interesting. Yeah, like the, the way they put it together. Like, I don't know, school, there's a lot of things they could teach you. Like, like even I was talking about with him, like, if they just taught you how to, like, like film, like, a video or, like, edit a video, that would be so valuable, yo. Thanks. But... I mean, I guess some schools, you know, have video production. You gotta wait till you like in college or something, yeah. bro. And it's like by then you already could have learned how to do everything. It would be like just me watching videos and doing research and just like like how Russ be talking yeah. or how anybody be talking. Like a lot of people be talking. You feel me? And they just give me hints. Yo, with Russ, like honestly, man, people are like mad hit on Russ, but no, he he snapping. Yeah, he, uh, no, I actually, I actually, maybe I don't listen to all, like, his music a lot, but I do like watching his interviews. Yeah, that's what it is. Like, I don't, it's not my type of music, but the way he just articulate and how he's not afraid to say certain things, yeah. I respect that, you feel me? No, nah, facts. I think, uh, man, I gotta give you your props on this because you kind of, like, switched up your entire style, you know? I had to. Like, it's it's much more aggressive mm -hmm. and you're taking way more risks and me personally like i can even if something like let's say something was trash right even if someone took the risk of trying to be different i was like right. i'd be like i appreciate that you know right it's not generic um so yes. i, I want to know about that you know like because like like pumped up for example right mm -hmm. like it's probably my favorite song but you recently like what what made you want to like switch the entire style up? I mean, bro, I freestyle all my music. Like every song you heard by me, yeah. except for Overwhelming, was freestyle. 
yeah. over them and I wrote. Yeah. And then I freestyled the X hook, the, the money sign song. Yeah. So then after that, I just started freestyling. I was in my bag, like, no, I don't need to write, you feel me? But then Pumped Up, it's just like, when you in that bag, like, <laughs> Pumped Up, what inspired me to make Pumped Up was like, I was just, just everybody was just saying like, I'm a prodigy. And then, and I was on philosophies and then it was like, all that stuff rhymed. Prophecy, yeah, yeah. Prodigy, yeah, yeah, you feel me? Yeah. All that. So I just put it all together. Ideology, you feel me? Yeah. It's like I think the lyrics are dope, but I think the best thing about it is the little voice changes you're doing, you know? Like oh, yeah. just randomly changing it up and it's like, yeah. who else is doing that, you know? Right. Yeah, I go I like to go high pitch, low pitch, you yeah. feel me? And just like make it like almost like it's saints and demons just rap it to you and that's it make it like more fun and more intriguing and more right. like what is that? You yeah. feel me? Like is it like it makes you want to listen to the song from the start to the end rather mm -hmm. than like all right it was cool i heard it and i um, turned right. off right but uh, you made like this song it was literally like the national anthem for mars i swear uh revolution oh yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> it was thanks. like all the comments were like yo like this is like aliens would fucking love this song mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying um so actually yeah, i appreciate that you're, you're thinking outside the box like uh, yeah have to. you you were talking about like you know how you still talk to cardi and stuff whatnot um and I just feel like you guys both had this kind of like punk like energy to both of you. Right. So um, I'm just curious, like, what, like what, what was your thoughts on a whole lot of red? I tell you, it was dope. You feel me? Like yeah. my boy, you know, filthy and yeah, working produces, on dying. Yeah. They all produced on that, so yeah. I was I was happy for them. You feel me? Like yeah. I was really dope seeing that. You feel me? Because I grew up from here on SoundCloud, Cardi on SoundCloud, you broke boy. You feel me? Yeah. You just my friends playing that. You feel me? And then to see my boy producing him, that's like. A, that's crazy, you feel me? Yeah. What's your favorite songs off Full Red? Just curious. Cause there's like, there's like ones that are like super punk, one that are like, kind of like die lit, like. Right. Yeah. Uh, King Vent, cause it's just yeah. a vibe. It's yeah. just a vibe, like that vibe is just dope. Wait, King, that's the one where he's like spelling it out, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, I feel you. Nah, I, I like it though, it grew on me. Um, yeah. So you actually commented on one of our posts, this was like a month ago or something, because we uh, we do like these hot takes, right? Right. So my hot take was like, yo, Lancey Foe is going to be like the one of the first UK artists to just fucking cross through the, like, right. to America. And like, you agreed yeah. with it. And you made a song with him recently too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how, how did you like... So like, pretty much I hit him up, like, who's been... I saw him working with Filthy. Oh, okay. So he did a singing with Working On Dying, and I was like, he, he also cool with my boy Quad, he cool with my boy Jostar, all these people from Philly, and I'm like, bro, you from UK, how you know all these yeah. folks, you feel me? How does he know all of them? Exactly, you feel yeah. me? Like, Bull got a whole person to shoot a scene in Philly to my video, and he knew the brand, Ammo Stilo, that was always in Philly, I was like, wait, so, so he got someone to come to you and film you? Mm -hmm. I thought you got the in video. the same room, I was like, oh. No, we, yeah. it was, He's in London. I'm in Philly. Yeah, I just thought like you guys were in the same studio. Like it, it, you guys made it look like it was all. Oh uh, like, yeah, because we did the uh, green with the green. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Lancey a goat man. Cause what he's doing, he's not trying to like be on no pedestal. Like, like we don't like a lot of rappers is trying to be on a pedestal, trying to be up here. Mm -hmm. He know like we idols, bro. We don't need to go try to be a crash dummy to go get a million streams mm -hmm. because it's going to come anyways you feel me and, mm -hmm. and it's more of a legacy than a than a a moment of clout or right. fame you feel me this is what i'm trying to leave you feel me a legacy you feel yeah. me so i see that in him and then skepta too you feel me but but lancy definitely the youngest who are some other new generation artists that you're kind of fucking with like so fago ssg kobe like you heard of these guys oh yeah i was talking to ssg kobe that's the bro nice. um that's the homie shout out him yeah um oh, i've been really i've been tapping in with the youth bro kids taking over bro yeah. i was just with um king last night ti son okay yeah i put up king on him Holmes. we cooked up a hit man i gotta yeah. play it for you that okay we was snapping you feel me yeah but him um this young apprentice i don't know if y'all know him Prentice, uh, he's a kid. He been doing like Blink One Eight Two type music, but he like fourteen, bro. Oh shit! And he just raw, like him. He hard. Yeah. Um, my boy Josh Star. Okay. You need to tap in with J Philly. So all that. That's far. You feel me? Yeah. You, you heard of um Ken Carson? I heard of him. He yeah. Si he signed an Opium, like Word. Cardi's label. Dope. Man, I'm telling you, there's like this new group of like young kids who are really like going crazy. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I uh. I, I was watching your Adam 22 interview and he was asking you like, 
weird shit. He was like, yo, like, you should collab with like Meg Thee Stallion, Billie Eilish and stuff. But I want to actually ask you like, yo, you know, like, I DM Billie Eilish, she answered. No way. I swear to, bro, I swear to God, bro. What did she, you DM? She didn't answer, I just said hi. Yeah. And she liked it. Oh, that counts, yeah. That counts, bro. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, but no. It's a um, big accomplishment. What you was saying? Just like, yeah, like, who are some people you actually want to collaborate with? Like, you know, like... Mad, Madlib, Flying okay. Lotus, uh, Griselda. I didn't expect you to say any of the names, but... Yeah, because yeah. I'm just tapped in with that. Yeah. Like, I don't want to do no, like... I feel like, me, bro, it's too new. It's too futuristic. Mm -hmm. So if I, if I rock with all the new artists, it's going to be too futuristic, bro. It's like... It's like, I gotta work with the old heads so I can bring them in the same wave, you feel right. me? Yeah. And just like, I really wanna work with them. For real, for real. Oh, um, Th yeah. Thundercat, dope. Uh, Brock Hampton. Brock, Brock Hampton snapping. Danny Wolf, I was talking to Danny. Oh, wait, Danny Brown, I'm tripping. Yeah. I'm tripping. Danny Brown, I was talking to Danny Brown. We might have something coming up soon, too. Yeah? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a lot of like uh, older generation yeah. style music. I, I grew up on like Beastie Boys and like. Yeah. Oh, like my uncle would show me a lot of stuff like that. So yeah. like, he would just show me new videos, like rock to to production. Yeah, no, I think uh, myself as well. I love the newer generation of music, but I did grow up with older brothers. So you know, they would play like Lupe Fiasco and Fifty Cent. Right. You know, so Thanks. it's good to have both. It's good both to have things. both exactly, and yeah. then it's just creating yeah. something newer. Yeah, you feel me? It's like that's all music is. Is is this listening? Whatever you listen to, it's just coming together. Yeah. Well, yeah. I appreciate you, you tapping in, man. Like, I think this is a uh, this is bound to happen. Like, we had to do this. Um, but yeah, yo, this is Maddox. I was watching kids take over. Yes, sir. All right. Yo, what's going on, guys? Thanks for watching that Maddox interview. Just want to say the time has finally come. Uh, you guys have been seeing me wear this T-shirt in a lot of content. I've been teasing it, and this week we're finally announcing the release date for it. Uh, I just want you guys to not miss out on these because I'm telling you they will sell out um, We've been getting a lot of DMs about them. So follow our Instagram at kids take over IG just to stay updated the moment it drops um, But yeah, that reminds me I got to give one of these to Matt as well But yeah, 